Yo what's up guys it's Atrix here in today's video we'll be taking a look at the brand new version of Winlater Frost which is a fork version of the normal Winlater Android with new features like the new DXVK wrappers, turnip drivers for better compatibility and performance along with that brand new settings. Well anyways Winlater Frost version 8.0 revision 1 has just released and here are the minimum requirements for this new version of Winlater Frost. You'll need at least Adreno 6 series GPU so Snapdragon 4 Gen 1 processor or above along with that Virgil support is is present which means that it should work on all GPUs including MediaTek, Exynos, Kirin and Unisoft. So they will only be supported for DirectX 9 games, make sure to keep this in mind. LLVM pipe is also present if you want to run softwares instead of games in this Windows emulator. And here are some of the known issues in Winlater Frost for Odin 2 users and X input issues in few games. Anyways, here's the changelog of the latest Winlater Frost 8.0 revision 1 version and this is Proot not Glipsy so the performance won't be the best. But but the Glipsy support has yet to be added in Winlater 8.0 versions, we still don't have any ETA on that. Anyways, we will be able to see added new turnip version 25.0.0. This is one of the best changes because it adds compatibility to new processors as well as better performance. Added DXVK 2.4.1.1 which is another brand new version with GPL async. Along with that VKD3D 2.13 into start menu, fixed OpenGL versions inside the Virgil menu, improvements and bug fixes have been made. So right here I have already added this version of Winlater Frost on my Android device and when we open it for the first time the UI will be similar to the normal Winlater Android. But if we just go ahead and open settings and select the box 64 version you will be able to see the 0.3.1 box 64 is now present. Along with that in terms of box 64 preset we will select performance, duplicate it and set the safe lags level to 0 for best FPS possible. Afterwards we will simply tap on the Wine version and there is only one Wine which is available, the Wine 9.0. Anyways, if you are seeing some lines in my device display, then it is because of the camera frame rate, so don't mind it. Let's start off by creating a new container. Graphics driver will select it as the latest 25.0.0. Now, the best part about using Winlater Frost is the fact that you get lot of graphics drivers. For example, I know some games that only work with 23.3.0 graphics driver. I also know some games that only work with 23.0.0 graphics driver, which means that it should work in Winlater Frost because of lot of turnip drivers. We'll go to the DX wrapper. If you have a Mali GPU Android device, you'll need to choose Wine D3D. Nonetheless, as I have a Snapdragon processor Android device, we'll go to DXVK configuration and once again just take a look at how many DX wrappers are provided. If you want to emulate some old games you can use the dxvk 0.96 as well as 0.4 we also get our legendary 1.10.3 dxvk wrappers but for today's video we'll be going with the latest dxvk wrapper which is the 2.4.1 it is by default you also get dxvk 2.4.24 asynchronous but for today's video we'll go with the default settings in terms of audio driver we'll enable pulse audio video memory size will set it to 4 gb and all the other settings will be similar to what we use in win later android so box 64 preset will be performance, Windows version will set it to Windows 10, enable the processor affinities, startup selection to aggressive. Once that has been done, we'll create our container and simply tap on the run button to start our Winlater Frost container. In today's video, we'll also be trying out some games like Dragon Ball Z Kakarot and in my future video, I'll be comparing this with the Winlater 8.0 revision 1. Well, I forgot to change one setting. We'll go to edit and make sure to set the screen size as 800 by 600. It is the best resolution no matter what type of device you have, low end or high end. So here we go, our win later, Frost has successfully started. We get the same options like toggle full screen, etc. And in terms of input controls, now the developer has finally once again added his old control layouts, which I personally preferred compared to the virtual gamepad controls that have been provided. So my favorite input touch control has to be the general input touch control, which has all the necessary buttons at the right place. The game that we'll be trying out in today's video is going to be the Dragon Ball Sparking Zero. So let's find out how well will this game work on my Android device. The device which I am using is IQ12 with Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 processor and I also need your help regarding this. I am thinking of purchasing a Snapdragon 8 Elite processor Android device. Should I buy it? Let me know in the comment section down below or should I just use my Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 processor Android device. Anyways, Dragon Ball Sparking Zero has successfully launched though it takes some time to initialize this game. We'll just go ahead and enable our input control till then and there we go, the game has been successfully initialized. 
realized and after skipping through all the bs here we go our game has successfully started as you will be able to see we are actually getting pretty decent amount of frame rate at the top left corner you will be able to see we are almost getting about 60 fps and i can't even imagine how well will the winlater 8.0 glipsy version be because winlater 8.0 officially in my opinion is better than winlater glipsy because of its support for virtual gamepad open the virtual gamepad at any moment and then the game will directly recognize it which did not occur previously nonetheless as you will be able to see nonetheless as you will be able to see our game is working properly and we are getting stable 25 to 30 fps which is definitely a playable gameplay experience previously when we tested out this game in other emulators like horizon etc i was only getting around uh, 15 to 20 fps whereas in winlater frost 8.0 revision 1 i am getting pretty amazing fps though the stuttering issues will still be present in dragon ball sparking zero if you don't use a save file but after you wait for few seconds those stuttering issues should eventually go away and then reappear anyways though that's going to be it for today's video thanks for watching i'll see you guys next time peace out